Hello everyone, this is Ati R Football Manager speaking and yes, you have come to the season finale of the Coca-Cola Championship League and yes, Newcastle is sitting at the top of the table with 1-1-1 points, not bad. Second off is Nottingham Forest at 95 and we are going to the Barclays Premier League. I'm excited and well, we'll see what kind of transfers and loans ahead that I will try to bolster my team with and just to highlight to you that I actually lost more games than Nottingham Forest Nottingham Forest has only lost 5 games, can you believe that? 46 games and he only lost 5 but they drew too many times with other teams and that's where they really really dropped many points whereas I only draw 3 times and so yes our goal difference is about 23 is it 23? yes 23 goals and the points is about 16 points difference well and uh, the and the goals against against this goals against yes goals against is well uh, having a fantastic defensive record of only 30 goals conceded and Nottingham Forest conceded about 49 goals that's pretty poor but anyway uh, let me just show you more interesting stuff for this season let's just take a look at the statistics Alright, this is the team statistics and right now my form is <laughs> on second. Uh, yes, I just lost to Ply Move. And for goals, yep, we top the table. Considered we top the table because we have the least number of goals co uh, considered. And average attendance is good. Well, uh, Newcastle came from Barclays Premier League, so that stadium is pretty big, you know. And so our home form, away form, games won in a row is just two. Not much here. But let's just take a look at us the stats. Alright, this is what I want to share with you. Um the top of the band. I mean I mean what am I talking about? Anyway, the top person in the league is none other than Chad Evans from Sheffield United. And he's really good. Um he has thirty six goals to his name. Whereas no one here is from Newcastle. <laughs> uh, because of my rotation system, um, many of my players only tend to play half of the entire league, uh, total number of league games, which means about 23 games. Yes, and so um, to have this amount of goals is really, really not easy for a single player. But team goals wise, we top the list. So, well, no complaints, you know. Anyway, um, all these here are quite okay, but I just want to highlight on Jonas. You see, Jonas is just a winger with very poor finishing stats. Look at him. He's only has 7. First touch is only 10. And look at his stats. The only good thing about him is his physical attributes where he can outrun everybody. But with him... I actually have the man of the match at 8 times, you know, just one shot of the best. Moreover, for tackles per game, he actually made many tackles at 5.14. He's like another defender <laughs> by himself, you know. That's pretty interesting because Jonas is really, really weak in defending. And, yep, I think he will be the player of the season for my club. And uh, let me just show you that here is Alan Smith. He has a lot of pass completion. I'm very proud of him. Well, these two are my keepers. Um, I'm not sure why they are top there. They are there, uh, but well, that's not a very big deal because they are goalkeepers and their pass completion rate should be the top. Um, average rating is 7.39 for Josie and Rick. All right, let's move on. Teams. Um, wait. There's something that I want to show you. And none other than um, where's the funny funny yellow cards? All right. Oh, player stats. Yellow cards wise, we won. Hey, I can't see it here. Sorry, I'm just fumbling through. Anyway, uh, awards. Is that for awards? History. Anyway, I'll just come to history. We have the worst team discipline of the season. Woohoo! 100 cards total. Can you believe that? 96 yellow cards and 4 red cards for this season. 100 cards. 
I don't know what my team is after. I don't, I'm not sure they're gonna give a reward for worst team discipline, but this is really really poor stuff for my team. <laughs> I lose a lot of players because of yellow cards and red cards, and this is not good. Anyway, uh, not much here. Most team points I've scored, most team goals, yes. And worst discipline is from my club. But anyway, um, well, this worst, uh, worst discipline here is from Sean Derry from Crystal Palace, not from my uh, own club, though. Do I have anything else to show you? Nope. Uh, Chad Evers is really, really good. He's from Sheffield United. And let me just show you his stats. Look at his stats. His stats is like Premiership standard because he can dribble well. Uh, I mean, he couldn't dribble, but he can finish well, like um, 15 points for his attributes and really really top class striker if you ask me if acceleration and agility at both 15 and 14 and pace at 15 he outruns most of most defenders and really really good stuff from Sheffield United if I have a chance I would have bought him but uh, my, I'll show you why I cannot buy any players <laughs> very soon very soon and let me just like, take a look at the board for my club what room well, Mike actually is certainly happy because we are the champions, we are the champions and yes, club stature we grew because we won the league competitions we did okay, not bad squad how many is good transfers, matches, they were happy and yes, they are very happy with the overall leadership of my team woohoo, and yeah let me just take a look at competitions for all three competitions, we have done well we won the Coca-Cola Ch Championship League and FA Cup, we went to the 6th round, just one step further than the 5th round. I think I lost to Manchester United here. And here, we went to the quarterfinals, but sadly, we lost to Preston, who is in our league and of course my fans are not too happy with that. Not much stuff here, here um, these are just juniors that I see no future in them that's why I send them out uh, not many stuff here alright um, finances quite okay quite well uh, but let me just show you the final stuff here at, for my finance uh, finances sorry and look at here wow I am having a deficit of 18 million bucks and it's, this is in pounds, you know, pounds. This is atrocious and I really hope that I do not have to go into administration even though I win. I'm not sure whether the, my, my club is going to give me funds to really invest on the team next year. Seemingly no. But i got to, well, just see and pray hard at. Eh? Uh, not exactly pray hard, but actually just to hope that we will have better funds for the next season and yeah this is about all that I want to show you for this round for this season finale um, just one last thing before we end here let's just look at the Premier League who won and none other than Manchester City can you believe that and some more it's a five point lead <laughs> Yeah, you wouldn't believe my eye. I, I mean, this is. Re I mean, yeah, this is so unexpected, huh? Anyway, the bottom three is Hull, Portsmouth, and Burnley. I wonder, is it the same? It seems like the same as the real life situation, you know? Although Portsmouth was really at a rock bottom. And yes, that is all for my season finale. Stay tuned for more updates, and I will be showing you my potential transfers for next year. Yes, and without further ado, I'll just thank you for watching my videos. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at RTR Football Manager. Or you can visit my blog at footballmanagersite.com. And yes, do not worry, this is not the last of my videos. <laughs> Stay tuned, and yes, I'm signing out. And yes, I'm signing out.